This is the fourth and final video in our four video series regarding working with analyses. If you have not had the opportunity to look at our previous videos titled Analyses Overview, Creating a New Analysis, and Manage Analyses, then we recommend you view those first before continuing on. In this video, we will be going over import and export analyses. Now, import and export are very valuable tools for sharing your analysis with other MotiveWave users. The exported analysis file will have a .mwml extension and be in JSON format. It will contain your analysis, which consists of used components, studies, and price and time guides, along with information about the instrument. And by default, the analysis file will be saved on your computer desktop in the form of symbol-analysis-name.mwml. So let's head on over to MotiveWave and export some analysis. Okay, so here we are in MotiveWave. Let's export some of these analyses. So right now we're on Apple. We have three of them, the primary, we have the alternate, and we have the Elliott Wave. So let's click on File, Chart, and then let's go to Export Analysis. As mentioned in the slide, we have the symbol dot exchange plus the hyphen plus the analysis name. In this case is primary. We'll save that. We'll click on alternate and we'll also do file, chart, export analysis. And now we have the same symbol dot exchange hyphen alternate. We'll save that on the desktop. An Elliott wave. Let's export this one as well. Now this time I'm going to use the manage analyses functionality here. So we'll click Elliott Wave and we'll click export and close. So now we've exported all three of them. Let's see if we can um, delete them and bring them back in, import them. So uh, let me go over to manage analyses. Let's delete the Elliott Wave. Let's delete the alternate. Okay, now I'm going to select everything on the chart and I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to click Save. And as you can see, we only have the one primary analysis. So we don't no longer have um, the other ones. Okay, just the primary. So let's import now. So we can file chart, import analysis, and we have the primary here. We'll click open. We'll click import. Do we, would we like to replace it? Yes. So we see here that if the analysis that we had before has come back. We can also file, chart, import analysis. Let's select the alternate. And we want to name it alternate. Let's click import. Okay, let's go here. You'll see that alternate is now available. And here it is. Let's try and import from here. We can do that with the Elliott Wave. We'll call it Elliott Wave. Okay. And now we can view that one as well. So now we have all three here imported. Okay, so that wraps it up for this video. And we'll see you in the next.